I, uh, I guess it's now time for episode three. That's right, we're now here with episode three of Dark Matter Chet's Legacy. And last episode was, um, okay. As yes, we did make a few upgrades to the team as we got this Larry Hughes, Rudy Gobert, Andrew Wiggins, David Robinson, and also LeBron James. Meaning now this is the squad. Now the only issue is we, uh, we lost both games. Like we really struggled, but that was okay in the end because you guys went crazy with the support as we had almost 200 comments and also over 2,000 likes. So thank you once again. The support means the world. And that makes me so excited to be here for episode three. So this series is fully based around Dark Matter Chet Holmgren. And you can see the upgrades and downgrades on screen right now. So when I do good things with Chet, I get rewarded with VC. For example, if I get 30 or more points, we get 7,500 VC. But then I can spend on packs and that's how we get upgrades. But uh, then we do have the downgrades and we hope to not do any of these because then obviously we lose VC. But they're not the only rules in the series, you guys also make a big impact because we do have the top comment rule. And this is where you guys leave your suggestions in the comment section down below as for rules that I should do in the next episode. So I always pick the two most liked comments as they're always super fun. So this first one is by O Damon, and it says, because Chad is from Minnesota, any player on your opponent's team that is either on Minnesota Timberwolves or from Minnesota is 10,000 VC. Love the videos. First of all, thank you for the support. And second of all, I love this comment. So it looks like at the start of the game. We'll have to see how many players are from Minnesota, but I'm also making it a rule that we have to win the game to get the VC. So I guess we'll just have to see how we go. Anyway, then the next top comment was a fun one too, as it's called the number seven challenge. It says, since Chet is number seven, each time you score seven points, you get 3,000 VC. For example, if I score 35 points, I'll get 15K. So I'm hoping Chet can score a lot because man, I need some VC to get some better players. Anyway, then that's it for the top comment rules. I absolutely love them, but obviously we still have the bonus comment rule. And this comment could have zero likes, but because I read every single one of your comments, I just go through and pick one that I like. This one only has 10 likes, but it's by The Weapon. And it says for every basket you get in a row with Chet, you get 1,000 VC until you miss. Then that's the amount of VC that you get at the end of the game. He also says to have a great day. Thank you very much. But I like this one. It means we actually have to be conservative with Chet, and that's something I'm usually not good at. So hopefully we can just pop off at the start. Anyway, then that's it for the top comment rules. Be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions in the comment section down below. I love reading through them and try and make them fun and creative as they're my favorites to do. Anyway, have I already told you that you guys have been killing it with the support? I think I have, but I have to say it again. Thank you once again. Because as you may know, each one of your likes equals 10 VC. And as we have these super packs and also these glorious packs, they could be absolutely huge as I really need to make some upgrades to this team. And guess what? You guys went crazy once again with the likes as we got exactly 2,242 likes. So when we times that by 10 and minus what we have left over, it leaves us now with 21,710 VC. And that's to spend right now. So man, thank you guys for the support. And be sure to smash the like button on this episode. As once again, each one of your likes equals 10 VC. It helps out the series and it also helps out me personally. So be sure to hit that like button. Anyway, I think I'm going to do glorious packs. I think they're just a little bit better than the dynamic duos. And they're also a lot cheaper. There's a 20% chance at a dark matter. And any dark matter would help out this team so much. As we literally haven't pulled one yet. So surely, surely episode 3 is the time. Let's do this first pack. Come on, we get more multiple of these just thanks to your guys likes so please dark matter no dark matter that's just a yeah we do get a pink diamond maybe that's usable i, I don't think i'm going to use any of these guys man that's a tough pack at least though we do get two of them so next one up i don't know why we haven't pulled a dark matter yet like i pulled so many super packs and this is finally my first ever normal pack and we're still not getting a dark that's an app Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Like, that sucks. I guess, um, thanks for you guys' support. But we made zero changes. Literally zero, as this is the team right now. Although we haven't pulled any Dark Matters, this Chet Holmgren is our only hope. So, boys, I need you to pop off, as we are uh, one and three in this series, which really isn't great. But I'm just hoping, I'm hoping we can get a lot of VC, open up a lot of packs, and most importantly, get the win. Oh, and I almost forgot, actually. We have to do it. Chet, hit us with that intro. What's up, y'all? This is Chet Holmgren. Y'all watching, uh... Chess Legacy. Yeah, you know we had to do it. So anyway, we're one in three. And without further ado, let's get into the first game. Okay, this team is good. It's nothing too crazy though. Like at least we're not seeing Dark Matters everywhere and like Invincibles and so on. So I'm feeling a bit better about that. But we got to remember our team literally is filled with pink diamonds. So we're in a bit of strife. But this is good defense to start out with. Sure, he does have that Invincible Zion. Um, 
that's Invincible Zion. And this is our first game running Chet at power forward. So we'll have to see how that goes. Let's pump fake, then up. That's one. I sort of just realized that we do have to be a bit more conservative with him just before, but just because we do actually have that rule of in a row. That's a good shot. I got to watch that. No, that's good defense. There's no way he's making that. Let's get that rebound. And you know what? Let's give it up to Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes, maybe back down to Chet. It's not the greatest of passes, but Chet Holmgren, I'm not taking this. Like, this is the issue. I don't want to just because I need to get them in a row. That's, oh, bro, LeBron, you got to get there. Like, you literally, not that, I had to have a steal there. In my personal opinion, I definitely deserve to steal. But you know what? Let's give this one back out to Rudy. I just don't really want to shoot with him, which is my issue right now, because we're definitely going to have to. Okay, here we go, chat. Oh, oh, we're going to the line. Do these count? I don't know. Let's say no. We do end up making both. Come on, that's perfect defense. What? I did not think that was a good shot. You know what, Larry Hughes? I was going to give it to LeBron, but Larry all the way. Take it all the way and give me that. Give me that steal. Good. Okay, we got it back. Now, Larry Hughes. I want to. I need to pull that. Why am I not pulling that sort of shot? Larry Hughes this time in the corner. Megs. I've literally only made one field goal with Chet. Make it two. Come on, this is such good defense. Like, literally, this entire possession has been perfect. Let's get out to Zion. He's going to miss that. We need the rebound. Chet is going to pull it down for us. He has played so well this quarter. And now we give it to LeBron James. I didn't know the time. Let's first of all see if any of his players are on the Minnesota Timberwolves at the moment. To be honest, no is the answer. Just from the top of my head, yeah, definitely no. But I'll do some research later whether or not they're from Minnesota. Should I try the Kilsey special? This is always a score. Maybe it's not here, actually. It's definitely not. Okay, let's not do that this time. But let's look at Chet down low versus... No! We missed. We missed our first shot. I actually didn't mean to go up there. Then he pulls that one. He's definitely missing that shot. But you know what we need? We need to score in this possession. It might be a good thing, the fact that we just missed. Because now we can score. That's a steal to Larry Hughes. Let's go, Christian Brown. You popped off in the playoffs. <laughs> let's... I just had like a little kick up. But let's pop off for me. Okay, we should have him here, shouldn't we? Oh, oh okay. We get a slam. Boards. Let's go. We pull it down. And now we need to look at this backdoor cut. I see it straight away with Chet. And Chet is not going to disappoint. Maybe a steal. Yeah, we got the steal. Please don't be a backcourt. It's not. And now, what about Chet on the back door again? It's not a good pass, but it's our ball. You ready for the Angus special, everyone? You ready for it? Pass. Um, so, yeah, that's the Angus special. It's the Angus special because we get the steal straight after. What about Chet down low? He's got a mismatch. He can't take advantage of it. I feel like I've shown my opponent that I drive a lot. So maybe now we should be able to get a wide open three. And that's exactly what we do. And we green it too. Dare you to make that pass. He did make that pass. But dare you to make it again. Dare you to make it back. Bro, I'm daring him to do everything. But this is good defense this time. Get across to this. Jump up. Perfect defense. I'm sorry, what? I've literally never seen that happen. Where it's not a green and it's red and it goes in. It has happened in back-to-back -back episodes. Okay, literally, that never happens to me at all. And you're telling me it happens twice in these episodes. I don't get it. I truly don't. But what about Rudy Gobert this time for the midi? Here we go. We've got good defense this time. And we get another rebound with him too. That's rebound number four. LeBron hasn't scored for us yet. Can we change that? He will now. Come on, put us up by 10 points. I think I missed it. Nope, we're most certainly doing well. Steal here. No way we didn't get that. I literally read that perfectly, but we do have my bench on the floor now, and I don't really know how I feel about them. They are actually pretty good defensively. Though. Well, maybe not. They just left a wide open three. But the one thing we can always count on with the bench being on is the fact that Chet Holmgren is going to stay on the court. And um, staying on the court, maybe not a good thing because we just forced it to him, and now he's probably going to get a wide open three. Let's pull down this reap. Okay, that's just Dirk for you. And now we need to stop. We need a block. We don't get the block, but we do get the stop. And what about Chet Holmgren running it up this time? Back out to Wiggins. Wiggins um, back low. Don't love this. Don't love this. Maybe I do. No, he's going to score there as well. And Chet does have takeover. Can we get like this long pass? Oh, we might actually. We got the score. Man, that play is so cheesy. But we're up by 10. I think you guys know I want to take some deep threes, but I also just need to score with him. And that's it right there. His hand literally just went through the basket. I don't know how much I love that, but I do love this if I make... How do I miss that? How do I miss that with takeover? That's why I usually just don't shoot even when I do get takeover because I make terrible plays like that. But you know what? We do get a stop and that is absolutely huge. Take it all the way, Chet, and let's slam it on him. Come on, that's good defense. It's great defense. We've got a red contest and finally he actually missed the shot. So what about Chet Holmgren this time? Maybe all the way, maybe kicking it down low, maybe pump faking this and then kicking it back up for the wide open three. Now that he ran out of takeover, it doesn't matter. Man, we are looking good and good and good in this game. That's...
maybe not what I got to say. Is he going to rage quit? He did. He literally did. We just forced our first rage quit in Dark Matter Chet's legacy. Man, let's go. That just gives us even more VC. This is such a dub. Because first of all, when we look at the upgrades and downgrades, I can't actually really count them right now. But I'm going to say that we did get five or more dunks. But most importantly, we also got the win. And you want to know what else? We did zero of the downgrades. So that means from this screen right here, we got 27,000 VC. But I didn't think I had to show this for a while. But because he quit in the third quarter, we have to bring up the rage quit bonus. And with him quitting in the third, it gives us an additional 10,000 VC. Meaning just from the normal upgrades and downgrades, we got 37,500 VC. That's insane. And now it's time for the top comment rule. I guess we have to go through his players and see who was from Minnesota. I'm counting from Minnesota as being born in Minnesota, by the way. So let's see. So I've done a bit of research and unfortunately none of his players were born in Minnesota. But do you want a little history lesson? This is where all his players were born. DeMar DeRozan was born in Compton. Artis Gilmore is an interesting one. He was born in Chipley, which is in Florida. And he was born in a town that has no more than 5,000 people. So pretty interesting. Avita Sabonis was born in Lithuania. Zion was born in North Carolina. Hedo was from uh, this place in Istanbul. Josh Smith was born in Georgia. Dirk was obviously from Germany. Glenn Robinson was from Gary in Indiana. Andre Kirilenko was from Russia. Kevin Porter Jr. is from Seattle. I didn't really know this about OG, but he was actually born in London. And then Marcus Gasol was born in Barcelona. So unfortunately, none of them were from Minnesota, but there's a little history lesson for you. Anyway, then we have the next top comment rule that we were actually able to complete because it said for every seven points, we get 3000 VC and Chet had 26 points. So seven plus seven equals 14 plus seven equals 21, which means we got three sevens. What am I even saying? I know what I'm saying though, because it means we got 9,000 VC from that right there. That's not too bad. Then when we go to the bonus comment rule, I didn't do too great on this, but we did complete it and we were able to make two baskets with Chet in a row to start out the game, which means we got an extra 2,000 VC. So now it's time for the mats and we're getting a lot because from this screen right here, including the rage quit bonus, we got 37,500 VC and then we have to add 11,000 from the top comment rules, which means from that game, we got 48,500 VC. That's crazy, which means now when we add that to what we had left over, we've got 55,210 VC to spend right now. Man, that's exciting. As yes, the squad did play pretty well, but I want to make some upgrades. And we've got so much VC that I actually want to start off with a dynamic duo super pack. Let's do this. These are expensive. 15,000 VC, but our best chance at a dark matter and we finally get one. Bam, baby. That's exactly what we wanted. Finally. It has taken a long time, but finally we do get a dark matter. There's some pretty good ones in these packs. There's invincibles and so on. And that's what we're looking for. Let's flip it and let's see who it's going to be. Please be like an insane shooting guard. That's really what we're looking for. Is this who I think it is? Is it? There is no way. There is no way this is Invincible MJ, but I think it is. I think it's guaranteed to be Invincible MJ, or is it the normal version? My heart was racing. Like, absolutely racing. This is a great card. I'm not denying it, but I thought. I just thought this was going to be the Invincible. Like, like he's in these packs too. At least I'm pretty sure he is. Maybe he's not. Maybe I'm dumb. I actually don't think he is. May have had that reaction for no reason, but this is a great addition to the team. I said I needed a shooting guard. Michael Jordan, welcome to Dark Matter Chet's Legacy. Let's go. Maybe I can get his duo. <laughs> oh, the hero version is in these packs. That one would have been better to get. Anyway, I'm not stopping on that. we got to do another Dynamic Duos pack. Like, there's no way after I get a Dark Matter, I'm skipping over to a different one. So we get another one. We go back to back with Dark Matters. Let's go, baby. This is what you get when you win games, Angus. You actually get good packs. So let's see if this one can be crazy as well. Two Dark Matters in this episode already. That's insane. And who's it going to... There's no way we actually get LeBron. LeBron James, this isn't going to be the version that we want, but is it like the playoffs version? What version? All-star version? I can't even remember. It's the all-star LeBron. That's still a great pull. And remember, we were rocking with this pink diamond before, so I'm more than happy with the dark matter LeBron James. We just added two of the goats, Michael Jordan and LeBron. That's crazy. I'm not stopping on these dynamic duos packs. Let's do another. We've gone back to back with dark matters. Can we make it three in a row? That's the real question. Let's see. We actually did. I didn't it's see it for a second. What is going on in these packs right now? Like I had it. We, yo, we also just got mellow. That mellow goes up to a dark matter. Does that count? I, I don't know, but you know, what is exciting. We've got another dark matter. So let's flip this one and let's hope it's not a duplicate. Cause now we've actually got two dark matters already. It looks like, 
Manu Ginobili. It's not a bad card for us, to be honest. If it's the hero version, it's even better. Don't be heroic. It is the hero. I actually think this is all right. He will be a good point guard for us. Yeah, I'm happy with that, actually. Did not expect to pull Manu. I can't deny it. But you know what? I have an idea. We just got Carmelo Anthony. And to upgrade him to a dark matter, all you have to do is score 22 points in a single game with him. So I'm going to say if we score 22 points in Chet's legacy with him, no matter how many games it takes, we get to upgrade this card to his dark matter. What a pack, though. We literally just got two dark matters in it. And we still have 10,000 VC. So let's do a glorious pack as a what a pack opening. We've literally pulled three Dark Matters so far. That is insane. What about another? I, I didn't think it could happen. And guess what? It didn't, but that's okay. This card goes up to a Dark Matter too. I don't think I'd use him as a Dark Matter anyway. That's what you get for winning games, Angus. You actually get rewarded. Thank you, 2K. Now, yes, just remember this team. Look at the before and then bang, look at the after. We added Pink Diamond Mello who could go up to a Dark Matter. We just need 22 points with him. We also added Dark Matter Manu Ginobili, Dark Matter Michael Jordan, but finally Dark Matter LeBron James. This team is just looking so much better and I can't wait to use it. As yes, we're now two and three, which means finally, yes, we got a win. But most importantly, I want to see if we can get two in one episode. So the rules are all the same. And without further ado, let's get to the game. Okay, this team is unreal. And although we do have all our dark matters now, I am still a little bit nervous going against a squad like this. We got to remember too, I have to score with Chet. I have to make sure we get all these scores. As you can see, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. What about, that's just a terrible... But what is that? That's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. Rebounds here. Yo, what a rebound there by Michael Jordan. And that's what I'm saying is I got to get scores and I got to make sure that we actually don't miss because I want as much VC as possible. There's 1K. Hey, mate, I know I'm about to get absolutely sourced, but I love your videos. So get it up. Appreciate you, my man. We'll see how we go. I don't know if I'll be able to source him with this team right here. Like it is difficult, especially because these are some players that I just don't use at all. But what a rebound there by Chet Holmgren. That is exactly what we need from him. And what about a little bat? Okay, not who I wanted to backdoor, but it's okay. We get the score. That's no, nah, that's got to be an inbound steal. That just has to be. And now he's looking at this corner pass to Shaq. We're out there though. And that is cool. Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren, you are insane. What about we stop? What about we pop the three? Chet Holmgren. <sighs> really? That's two rebounds to him already though. But I really didn't make it take advantage of the fact that I could make so much VC just from getting the scores in a row. Come on, that's good defense. So let's get another rebound this time. He's going to pull it down with Shaq. That's so annoying. What about we get a steal? <laughs> Jump ball. Okay. This Michael Jordan has been insane on the defensive end. And he also just wins the tip for us. Let's go. Okay. Now we're looking at MJ this time. Looking at MJ. Looking at the fading three. Michael Jordan missing. Bruh. I thought his release was so much slower than that. But it's actually quite quick on the fade. What about we get a steal? Yep. We got it. Yes, sir. Now let's give it to Manu. Manu stops. He doesn't pop because obviously we're looking at this man, Chet Holmgren. Down low. Too easy. It's a slam. Nice. That's actually a pretty good shot, but he had the slowest release and Rudy Gobert is there for the rebound. LeBron James, you're wide open for three. The Dark Matter hits it for us. Okay, let's go through his team and see if any of these players were born in Minnesota. We'll remember at the end, go through, but are any of them from Minnesota? I, I don't know. Especially these later players, I've got no idea. That's on me right there. I 100% just have to be better. Back out to LeBron. LeBron for the fade out. Let's make that. Yes, sir. He's starting to just get his groove on a little bit, but Chet from three, let's go. There we go. We get another steal now back. I just gave it straight back to him. Stru what a block there by LeBron. Okay, and we needed that too. If we get a stop here, it's absolutely massive. Like absolutely massive for the team morale. Have you ever heard someone say that team morale is a big thing in 2K? I don't think so. But guess what? We get the stop all thanks to that LeBron block. Now I'm looking at LeBron on the other end. It's not the greatest of passes, but LeBron is able to make things happen by passing it down to Chet for the slam. No, good, good, good. But how well I've been playing, I feel like I should be up by more than nine points. And maybe we can do that right here by Chet Holmgren three. If we're able to put takeover on, then take it to the left. Chet this time for three. Let's make it. Angus, why do I miss with takeover every time? I, I, I don't know. There we go. Chet gets us a steal and he does have takeover. That's the thing we got to remember. So obviously we want to pull a three with him with the takeover. So Chet, let's pass out of that one. Back. Oh, yeah. Yep, just thought I'd let you guys know. I do not like that shot. 
Do not like it whatsoever. Now we need good defense this time or else we're in a bit of strife. So maybe a steal, maybe none of the above because he's probably going to get a score. He kicks it back out. That's a great play for a wide open three. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Whenever I get takeover, I just cannot score. But this time we will score down low. Chat with another rebound. He has been so good on the boards. Let's go behind the back. Take it down low this time. What about to Rudy? Rudy pump faking. Back out to Chet. Chet, if you ran out for three, we had it. Chet, this time... Don't even talk to me. I don't know what's going on. But you know what I do know what's going on? Is we're going to get a Chet Holmgren three here. Watch it. Wait for it. Pull it. Green it. Let's go. That's good defense. Oh, okay. 28% covered. And you're telling me he makes it. Fair enough. Fair enough. We almost got a turn over there. But let's take one step in. Pass it back out. Back out to Chet. What about the pass down... We got blocked, of course. You know what? Things aren't really going our way right now. But if we watch this corner pass or if we jump up, you can't yeah. lie. That is great defense as LeBron gets the snatch block. Back to Chet. Let's finish off this play. Chet Holmgren, pull it and let's green it. Oh, and we get an inbound steal too. Let's go. Back out to LeBron. You're the one that has made some huge plays for us. What about a fader? Chet Holmgren, once again, this man is popping off. Hey, bro, we're going against so many invincibles and we are just absolutely killing it right now. Manu Ginobili, um, maybe back out out to chat why not chat hungry i missed that one really really badly like don't even talk to me about that's how bad it was but you know what you are going to talk to me about you're going to talk to me about this score we're going to get right here just wait for it just wait for the steal wait for the score and that's exactly what i'm talking about manu finish it the boys are just in sync like absolute sync now he has brought his bench on which does make me a little bit nervous but he has caleb martin or cody martin which one is it i don't even know we can easily destroy him we get oh, there's no way that's not an inbounds. Okay, well, we get the steal that we deserve. And now, chat. what about a little spin or just the lay? Okay, another rebound. Rebound number four. Back out to Manu this time. Manu for three. Let's pull that and let's green. I think the best part about this team right now is the fact that I don't just have to focus on Chet only to score. And just like that, we forced a rage quit. Yo, what just happened? Literally, we just instantly got that win. I... I... I don't even know what to say because we have forced two rage quits in this episode already. I'd only won one game before. What even is this? Anyway, I'm not complaining because the most exciting thing is when we look at the upgrades and downgrades, we went absolutely crazy. As with that final score, we actually got 30 or more points. Then we also got five more dunks and we won the game. Not to mention we did zero downgrades. I, I know it's pretty crazy. So just from this screen right here, we got 35,000 VC and man, that is a lot. But then yes, he rage quit in the second second quarter, which gave us an additional 15,000 VC. Meaning from just the normal rules, we got 50,000 VC. That is insane. But now it's time to look at the top comment rule. So once again, we have to go through his team and see where everyone was born. Let's do my research. Man, and unfortunately, once again, none of his players were born in Minnesota and none of them are on Minnesota either, which means we're again missing out. But you want your history lesson? Here we go. Michael Jordan was born in Brooklyn. LeBron was obviously from Akron, Ohio. Jonathan Isaac was born in the Bronx. Jokic, we know, from Serbia. Shaq was from Newark, New Jersey. Kareem was born in Harlem, New York. Andre Kirilenko from Russia. Artis Gilmore from Florida. Ben Simmons from my home country, Australia, in Melbourne. I'm not from Melbourne, by the way. But I was just there, which is a bit of fun for a 2K event. Fun fact. Look at how cool it looks. The vlog's coming soon. Don't even worry about it. Then Caleb Martin was born in North Carolina. Rule Neto was born in Brazil. Derek McKee was born in Mississippi. And then Austin Carr was born in Washington, D.C. So once again, no Minnesota players but a bit of history for you. Anyway, in good news, we did drop 30 points with chat. And how many times does seven, a seven, it goes four times. Four times seven equals 28, which means if we go 3000 times four, it equals 12,000 VC. That's how much we get from the second top comment rule. So I'll definitely take that. Then we have the bonus comment rule. And unfortunately I could only get one basket in a row, which is a bit tough, but it gives us an additional 1000 VC, which means from the top comment rules, we got 13,000 VC. And when we add that to our rules, it gives us 63,000 VC. And then when we add what we have left over, we have now got 65,710 VC to spend. That is absolutely insane. Like that is the most by far. And we're going to have spent over 100,000 VC on packs. I mean, we deserve it after the rage quits. I'm thinking of doing it. Do I do a glorious 10 pack box? It's going to put us in the negatives by about 2000, but I think it's worth it. Like these packs have a 20% chance at dark matter, or I could just do more dynamic duos packs. I think I'm going to go for the glorious. So let's open this box. I never thought I was going to be doing a box in Chet's legacy. Never thought, especially on episode three, but first pack up, we have to see a dark matter. That's it. Going off the odds, we should actually see two dark matters at least in this box, but we haven't seen one from these 
Glorious packs, which is pretty disappointing. And some of these Dark Matters, even though they don't go for a lot, are still really good cards. So that's what we're looking for out of this box. And we haven't seen anything. Like there's that Andre Kirilenko, which would be an insane addition. There's Josh Smith, which would be insane. There's so many Invincibles. So bro, all I gotta say is this is not looking good so far. Pack number four. This is not looking good at all. There is no way. Ish Smith does actually go up to a Dark Matter. Is that a good option? I don't know. I feel like it's not really the best card, so maybe we won't use it, but we get a normal shake. A normal Galaxy Opal, which means this should be an all-time player. And I don't think all-time players are gonna make the squad. It kind of looks like, who does this even look like? Western Conference, powerful. Aaron Gordon? Yeah, this is Aaron Gordon. So he goes up to a Dark Matter as well. I don't think it's worth it to rock this card though. Like it's getting to that point where these Evo cards just aren't really worth it. It just has to be the straight up dark matters that we want to see. So that's exactly what we want to see. Finally, I thought this box was going to go without dark matter, which would have been super disappointing, but we do get one. Please make it an invincible or a crazy good card. It sort of looks like a smaller point. Uh, it's Chris Milton. Um, Look, it's not the best. It's really not the best, I'm not gonna deny. Like this card doesn't go for much and also he's not the best, but I guess we can rock him off the bench. Crazy that I just pulled a Dark Matter and I'm saying I'm rocking him off the bench, I know. But that's where Chris is gonna play. Anyway, as I said with the odds, we should have multiple Dark Matters in this box. So can we go back to back? Yo, we do, okay, that's better. That's what we want. And now let's flip it. Pack number eight is great with an invincible in it, mate. Um, it does look like a different player. So it looks like Anthony Dape, small forward, um, number four. It's Brandon Ingram. Again, it's not a crazy good card, but we can definitely use him. And that's all that matters. He's a shooting guard as well. Is he better than Michael Jordan? I don't know, potentially. He's probably better than Chris Middleton though. So we'll take it again. All right, well, back to back Dark Matters, I will take that. Can we go back to back to back with Dark Matters is the real question. No, we do not. Okay, we get a ruby. That's fine. And now it's time for the final pack. I want to see something crazy out of this one, and we do not. Okay, well, we got the guaranteed two Dark Matters going off the odds, but they weren't really the best. So as we know, this was the team before the game, and bam, this is the team after the game. We added two extremely good Dark Matters off the bench, and it's crazy to say at the start of this episode, this Chet Holmgren was our only Dark Matter. Now we have LeBron, Michael Jordan, Manu Ginobili, Chris Middleton, and Brandon Ingram. I don't know about you, but that's pretty crazy. Crazy. And you know what else is crazy? Is the fact that we got two wins in this episode and both of them being rage quits. So I'm super happy about that. And I'm also super happy about your guys' support on this series. I have to say thank you once again as we've hit 2,000 likes on both episodes. So let's see if we can run it back with over 2,000 in episode three. Because as you know, each one of your likes equals 10 VC. So it's very much appreciated. But also remember, be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions down below as I love reading through them and it adds so much to the series. So it's very much appreciated. Anyway, I was so happy with Chet and so happy with the rest of the team that, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. But yeah, this is the best episode so far. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and make sure to follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.